to guess that if you were to be chased by a tiger, you would run away. But why would you run away? Well, this comes down to our body's response called fight or flight. Fight or flight is our body's physiological reaction to a threatening situation in which we can either deal with or run away. Our body will also create side reactions because of the fight or flight response. One of these side reactions can be our heart beating really fast. But more importantly, our adrenal glands will secrete a hormone known as epinephrine, aka adrenaline, which will mobilize energy from glucose molecules so that we can eventually run away. Epinephrine is key to the fight or flight concept, and without it, you probably wouldn't be able to run away. Epinephrine serves as a signal in the body, which is detected by cells in either the muscle or liver to ultimately come up with a response. The response that epinephrine creates, like we said, is to mobilize energy, and this is done by breaking down glycogen into glucose. By releasing glucose, we can use this in our muscles to undergo glycolysis to create energy for us to literally run away. Now, the fight or flight response is also known as a signal transduction pathway. Now let's take a look and see how epinephrine works on its own signal transduction pathway. The first step in epinephrine signaling occurs when the hormone binds to an epinephrine receptor on the cell surface. The activated receptor is known as a G-protein receptor, which has a G-protein made up of three subunits shown, alpha, beta, and gamma. The epinephrine binding on our receptor causes the alpha subunit to take up a GTP and release its GDP. The new GTP on the alpha subunit allows for it to dissociate from the G-protein receptor, and this can travel to an enzyme called adenocyclase. The alpha subunit binds to adenocyclase, and this can create the start of our secondary messenger system. The activation of adenocyclase catalyzes the conversion of ATP molecules into cyclic AMP. CAMP, for short, is known as a secondary messenger which actually carries the first messenger, epinephrine that we started with, into the cell. The CAMP molecules can then bind to another enzyme called protein kinase A. PKA is extremely important because this ultimately activates the enzyme glycogen phosphorylase. Now, the glycogen phosphorylase is the enzyme that is used to break down glycogen storage into glucose. The glucose can now enter the bloodstream and it is taken up by other cells as fuel to create the epinephrine induced fight or flight response. Thanks for watching and I hope you learned how you're able to run away from that tiger. It's all through the epinephrine signal transduction pathway which ultimately activates our fight or flight response.